All right, so we're going to look at upgrading from the Jackpot 1 B map to the Jackpot 2 B map. As you can see, the resolution is so much greater. It's like 31 by 31 now. So we get to hand fit data. Uh, this is a, a dyno tune for a stock 6.0 with a 4L80. Um, the speed tables really good for for this car so now what i've been doing is just going through hand fit, fitting the data and just marking out and interpolating in between the two values vertically and horizontally um, i'll show you how to do that easiest way i found is to use two screens um, and then just move this one over to the other screen and copy and just mark out with the snipping tool um, so you can keep up with where you're at I'll show you that process. Um, I'm up to the 3000 column right now, so we'll get started with that. So I go to 3000, just start entering my values. Next one's 90. You can see we're at 91, so we're just getting close. Now we're at 80. Sixty nine, so we'll go to seventy. Sixty one, we'll call that sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Then we'll go down to twenty. All right, so now we have these values. As you can see, the little spikes in our, our graph now. So what I do now is I just highlight in between those two values, Alt D for vertical interpolation, and I just go down to my, my points, and you can see it populating graphically there. Just keep going down. All right, so you can see my new values here. So now what I need to do is interpolate horizontally, Alt H, and you can see my VE map starting to populate. So I'll go through and I'll do this for all these values up to 7,000. Now it's a little time consuming process, but it should get our VE map um, higher resolution and um, back to on target on the, from the dyno tune. I'm sure I'll have to do some adjusting, but It'll be a lot closer than it was uh, originally from starting from scratch. I'll do the same thing for the for the timing map because uh, it also has more resolution. As you can see here, I'll use the timing map from the from the Dino Tune and do the same interpolation between vertical and horizontal balance. Hope that helps for those who are upgrading. It's a time-consuming process, but like I said, it works better if you get two screens and uh, you know if you have any questions.